Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077 Mods. Today we will be looking at Supervision by Salmo. I'm Slothability, slowest man in Night City. When the game gets dark, there's really not much we could do, up until now. Supervision is a custom shader that is able to change up the contrast, brightness, and saturation of what we see in-game. It just so happens that with the right settings, you can also achieve a Borderlands style look, which some may really enjoy for fun or for screenshots. It's almost like having a legendary ocular implant that will help us see in the dark and we can turn it on and off whenever we want. Since Supervision relies on the reshade framework, we need to install that first. It's pretty straightforward these days, but I'll go ahead and quickly walk you through it. Download the reshade framework installer from their website. Run the installer, and it will automatically search for games you have on your PC. From the list, find cyberpunk.exe and hit install. Since this mod doesn't need any other shaders, you don't need to pick any of the shaders from the list and can hit install. Exit out, and you're done. Now that we have reshade installed, go to your cyberpunk game folder. Go into bin x64 and you'll find the reshade folder that was just installed. In there, we will be installing the Supervision mod into the Shaders folder. Download the mod, open it up, and copy-paste it into the Shaders folder. Now you're ready to test it out in-game. When you start up Cyberpunk, you'll be greeted by a message at the top of the game letting you know reshade is running and how to open up the configuration menu. It should be the home key by default. You can hit home to open and close the reshade menu whenever you want. Find the supervision effect and click the checkbox to toggle it on. Now go into a dark alley or interior and test out the mod. The default settings are pretty minimal, but it's very easy to customize in the reshade menu. As soon as you start cranking up the sharpness clarity, you'll start to see a huge difference. I'll show you the settings I eventually settled on and some before and after examples now. I went for a Borderlands inspired look in general and even set up a keybind in the reshade menu so I can toggle it on like you would a flashlight or a night vision in other games. Since we're talking about the Borderlands look, I'll show you some footage of what it can look like when not in a dark alley, just for fun. This is definitely an interesting mod some of you will enjoy playing around with. I know I did. It's not your typical reshade and there's no performance loss. To me, it's more like a night vision mod for Fallout New Vegas or Predator Vision from Gopher for Skyrim. It's one of those kind of mods to me. I don't really see it as a reshade. But with the right settings, it could be. Currently, the mod author is working on a fix for the in-game menus that get affected harshly depending on the settings you have. But it's pretty easy to toggle on and off anyhow. Subscribe for more modding videos and if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me sleep better at night. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.